Welcome to Gaming with a Scottish Accent, I'm Daldanzo, and this is Ark Survival Evolved. How you doing guys? We're back on the Patreon server again today. I'm going to do a little server tour and then we're going to hook up with one of my Patreon stub who found a nice method for farming flowers in this swamp. So he's going to show us how that works. So let's just jump in here. Look at this place now. The guys have been busy. They've got. I've added some mods as well. So we've got this thing, which is like an egg collector. It just automatically collects eggs. Hey, look at that. They're all free. Uh, so if you head over here, this like within a range, I believe it just look automatically collects the eggs, which is freaking awesome. I mean, these guys have been seriously busy. Built. Uh, they've tamed all this stuff. Look at the, the dodecks. They're all like in the two hundreds as well, which is freaking awesome. And they built this little place for the for the things to stand on, like a an egg perch thing. This is like a taming bin, I think they made, which is pretty sweet as well. There's one of the rexes that we tamed, I think. Uh, a couple of houses are kicking around here, and this thing as well. But people have started to move out to their own area, away from the community centre, which is fine, guys. Uh, they've got all the advanced stuff in here, I think. So there's like this kibble cooker, which actually cooks kibble from dinosaur eggs. Any three eggs you'll make that and then to make the kibble you need a generic egg, you need fibre and stuff like that which is pretty sweet. It's like a better way, it's like a way to make kibble if you don't have all the kibble. Let's turn this down just a touch. Quite loud. Dave, right. So guys I am going to go dart about today and we're going to go check out some of the guys on the server's build. So let me just pull up my map. So first off we have there's a taming pen in the jungle that I want to go and see. So let's head that way. Oh if we can get unstuck and we can. Good. Right guys so I will head over to there. It is roughly at 65.50 roughly there. 55, 60 it is, roughly. So I'm going to head there, guys. We're going to check it out. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so here we go. The first place is one of my Patreons. That's called Brick Rabbit. So let's go check out what she's built over here. Look at her little house. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Oh, that's a nice little house. Look at that. I like it. You can head in. Oh, these stairs are epic. Bed. Oh, this is pretty, quite a cool little dainty wee house. Oh, left the door open, dude. You left the door open. And what we go out here, just a little balcony place with a little stairway up to a, to a rooftop part. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a nice little building. I love how different people build because it gives you ideas on how you want to build and how you can make stuff different and better and oh wow oh this is like a taming bin raft oh this is pretty oh this is nice I just pooped on it I do apologise that is disgusting okay, she's building some kind of thing on the water here she's just got you got a parasaur just wandering around yep wandering parasaur what is this Oh, look at this. You can go up and there's like a building in here. And this looks like another taming bin. How do we get up? What are we stuck on? Are we stuck on that roof? You duck. Can we crouch and then go up? Yeah, you have to crouch. So this is like another taming bin. This is pretty cool as well. So you get you can get something in it. And just stay up here and, and, and shoot it. That's pretty sweet. Oh, shit. God. And she's been breeding dinos purely to get the right colour. <laughs> so here's all the, the albino rexes that, we've made, that she's got, which is awesome. There's a... That is awesome. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's quite cool. A little crafting area outside. Oh, the windows. Nice. Oh, hey. He likes pink. Oh, there's Tiger. 
Hey dude, how you doing? She's over there in the red. This is pretty cool. Put the gun away. Be friendly. What's that? Oh, the reusable air conditioner she's painted. This is nice, man. What have we got up here? This is just the... The big, massive... This is just a huge barn. And you've got a bed. And a pink. More pink. There's pink everywhere. Have a little look in here. Holy! Wow, you've been busy. Dinos, we got everything. Let's check out this. Thirty eggs everywhere, man. What's eggs everywhere? These egg collector things are awesome. Freaking awesome. Now, I was here a few days ago, and I did I leave? No. I was. I thought I left a pteranodon here, but I don't think I've opened down. Camel? No, no. No, I've not. Okay, that's fine. Let's go over this way. Right, let's head to the next area. If we can ever get out. Get your beak out of my face, dude. There we go. And we're back, guys. And there should be a... There we go. There's a base right here. Now, this is... TTBs. This is the Tranquil, Tranquil base. Tranquil bass or something. And this is one of my Scottish, uh, Scottish dudes, I believe. And he's just got like a little pen. What else has he got? What's it, has he got stuff in here? Well, he has. Nice. So have you done what we done in a, on the bushwhackers and built up here? Oh, you have. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, dude. Oh, that is nice. Wow. Oh, I love how you've done that with the... What are they? Glass walls. Are they... Is that glass? Oh, you've made them transparent with the thing. That is... Oh, that is awesome. I love it. Oh, this is very nice, dude. I love how you've made it contour with the... With the actual cliff. Look, you've just done... Oh, this is so cool. Good job, man. And there's a bit down here as well. Oh, there's a little underfloor. It's got beds everywhere. You're making a hotel down here, dude. Jesus. And there's a ladder there. Oh, somebody here. Just got shared XP. These steps things are awesome. Hey, that heads up these... Oh, this is an actual arc staircase. So there's TTB there. Good evening, sir. <laughs> He's really crafting. Oi! I'm waving. I mean, how do I get rid of this? Go away. The place looks awesome, dude. Well done. This is so cool. Oh, another staircase up. Oh, look, I love how he's just got everything kind of, kind of in this wee place. I love how this looks with the glass. And you can't go through it, how you can make them transparent. I believe that's in one of the mods that we have. Wow. And this is like his roof. Can you go down? You can go down here. What's over here then? Oh, that's his farm. Nice. Oh, the silo. I've never seen these things before. Oh, that just holds buttloads of poo. And there's his, his poopo, his pooper, and that's a thatch processor, right? So they do the thatch. This does all the poop. That's auto compost. That is delightful. This base is pretty epic, dude. Pretty epic. Well done. Honestly, well done. Very impressed with the build here. Lovely. Oh, yes, look. He's managed to get his cables in the down. What the crap is this thing? Oh. This is the grinder. You make thatch. If you, oh, sticks torn from trees. You can make thatch from wood. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Well done. Right, guys, on to the next. 
Guys, we're back and we're here at the Flower Outpost now. We've got Stub and TTB, whose epic base we just showed you, in the chat with us. Aye. And they're going to show me how to do this, this amazingly fast 5 million flowers in 20 seconds method that they've came up with. <laughs> now they, they assured me it's the fastest method in the world, so if it isn't, then it's their fault, no mine. Oh wow. What the how? I just killed a di I just killed a Dilo and got four hundred plant species X. What? See these wee bush things, the wee these things. You get I've got twelve hundred plant species X on me now. Yeah, the mammoth gets a lot of plant species X. For these things. See, yeah, the, the, like the, the plant. See, it's like a, like a round looking plant, yeah. a round flower. You get like 400. And the uh, the rare flower is a small tube. It's like a pink and white tube sticking out of the ground. You'll start to see it as you knock the trees down. Okay. Oh. Oh, I've got four there. So you just start scalping down the trees. Yeah, you want to deforest first, take all the trees out. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I see, see yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, but the real trick is that the flowers come back before the trees do. Oh, nice. So you clear the trees out, and then you just go about scalping the flowers. Right, and then it's really the second time around is when you're really getting them. Nice. Yeah, I suppose because you'll be getting weighed down. Well, I'm getting weighed down majorly with... Uh... Yeah, what I do is I've got a separate folder inside the mammoth. I put the flowers in there, and then I just dump all the other inventory so it doesn't go into the main inventory. All right, cool. I might take this... I'm going to take this the plant species X because I'm going to make a... <laughs> I'm going to make something stupid with like 1500 plant species X, it's going to be funny. <laughs> yeah, you can keep, keep a handful and dump the rest. I've got okay. a couple thousand back in base if you need them too. Oh nice. So you just wait for the for them to start spawning back in? They spawn back pretty quick on the server, so you don't have to wait. Is it that long. thing there? See the thing right at the side of me, on the left hand side of me, this thing here? Oh, cool. And you get... In this oh, area you are at, this area's got a, a really good concentration. The rest of the swamp, we had we haven't been able to find them this close together. Cool. So you can just kind of keep going in circles, and you get unlimited trees and unlimited rare flowers. Yeah, you just kind of clear a decent area out. Um, like I said, this kind of area... Oh, I just killed a leech. Apparently my first leech. I don't go in the swamp very often, I don't like it. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, we'll take flowers and drop the rest. Oh, we'll take some mushrooms. Yeah, so the Anki actually collects slightly better on the rare flowers, but it doesn't have the area, and it's a little harder to control when you're in the water. Yeah, yeah, whereas the mammoth isn't it, it just walks about normally in the water. Right. So you just go back and forth and like in about five minutes you'll get a buttload of flowers. Right, not yeah. Much. Basically you do a circle around one of these uh, these rocks, and by the time you get back around again they start to spawn back in. Sweet. That's good. I like that. That is handy because I know one of the main things with the when we first played, started playing us, especially on Poop and Evolved, was a uh, nobody knew where to get flowers from. No, on this map they're really hard to come across. Nice. And if you're using thirty CC darts, it's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there was tough. They're the main ingredient, aren't they? Really? Yeah, they're they're the only hard part to make. 
on the old island map, it wasn't too bad. I just yeah. fly a mammoth to the mountain and get a bunch. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Mine. Leave that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. And yeah. the mammoth here has got a certain movement speed, so it makes it a lot quicker. Yeah, I mean, literally, you could just spend about 20 minutes, half an hour here, and you'll never have to gather flowers again. Yeah, no, you're set for a month. That's awesome. What? Because there's, there's not even any of the... You know how in the island they've got the... At the swamp, they've got, like, the black grass. Yeah. There's yeah, not that's even, not even... There's none of these... None of that on here, is there? Is that, was that not good for flowers, or was that good for mushrooms? I think there was flowers mixed in with it. Right. I think that's what it was. Cool. Well, there cool. you have it. Ignore them because they don't stand out real well. Yeah, yeah. Well, you heard it here first, guys. This is the best way to gather flowers on the center. It's official. I've been doing this for what ten minutes, if that, five minutes. And I've got 106 flowers already, which is pretty good. I mean, you could just keep doing that for a while. And the, the, will the trees spawn back in if I'm here? I don't think they will, will they? No, I was. I did this for probably 20 minutes yesterday, 15, 20 minutes. I got nearly 2,000 flowers and the trees hadn't come back in yet, but the flowers kept respawning. Yeah, that's good. That's a good trick, how the... The flowers keep respawning, but the trees won't. So you could clear out a big enough area just to keep within the, like, spawn limits. And just keep circling around that rock and perfect. You not only do you get about 10 to 20k wood when you first start off it, but then you'll gather loads of flowers. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, if you want the wood, it's a good way to build some up, but, you know, it's a secondary. Yeah, that's awesome. Otherwise, yeah, you just dump it off. Good find, man. Good find. Right guys, well there we go. So I think we're going to call it here. We've done a couple of tours. We showed off the community centre. We showed off uh, Brick Rabbit's pink montage of stuff. And we found the elusive flying parasaur. Are you looking at this noise? Look at this nonsense. <laughs> There's a flying parasaur. That's almost as rude as the mountain parasaurs. Gonna have to kill him. Get down. Get down your tube. Get down your tube. Oh, eating too many mushrooms. Surround sound. Well guys, as I said, we're going to call it. So remember, if you enjoyed it... Oh, before I go, I must say as well, if you want to join the server and play with these awesome guys, then check out all the stuff in the descriptions and the links below. All the info on how to join the Patreon server is there. You get access to this, you get access to my Discord, you get access to my awful jokes every day. And it's all good. But guys, I do we skip that like button? And hopefully we'll see you next time. Cheers.